you know who a Frida Kahlo is, you know who the Diego Rivera is, you know who a Matisse is, you know, uh, and I can keep going on because they have their own style. And that's definitely one thing that I've always wanted. That's one thing I have never touched base on interviews. Like, why is it that I do what I do? It started when I was little, hiding things in my work and just having a love for optical illusions and lines. I just, I don't know where I, I must have seen it in an art book. But back then it was just seeing the image, not knowing who the artist was. And I got and took a contemporary art class at the university with Carrie Rote. And, and, and it took touch base with Joseph Albers, Frank Stella, Piet Mondrian. Even though there's more women in this world, it's still very much a male-dominated art world. And of course, my male uh, companions be like, well, there's a lot of women coming up. And I'm like, and so and so, I'm like, yeah, but you still don't understand it. Like, you, you will never understand what we're going through and how much harder we have to work. <laughs> So in my head, I'm like, oh man, I want to be better than you. I want my lines to be crisper and 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 straighter. And and I don't use painter's tape, so everything that I do is many years of getting that hand steady. Like as you see back there, that's that's all. That's like my map. So that's part of the process. I always start with the four corners, and I and I go from there. There is no predetermined sketch. I just whatever comes out comes out. Like I said, I just break up the space with the ruler and then I just go back and, and paint it. So at least I have a good solid line. As a young kid, I wanted to be a fashion designer, archeologist, or an architect. I would always draw these little houses because uh, I wanted to be an architect and you know, we would travel all the way, we would travel to Mexico a lot. So I always just study the houses and see the difference between American and, and Mexican houses. And, and I still even think there's a stereotypical with Mexican houses that they have to be Hacienda style. Mm -hmm. No, when I grew up seeing nothing but like geometric boxy shapes. And I think that's where my love for uh, geometry comes from too. You know, I'm a strong believer that everything happens for a reason. I went to University Incarnate Ward my freshman year of college because I wanted to be a fashion designer. <laughs> I thought you got there and all you had to do was sew. I mean, I, I thought you got there and all you had to do was draw and give it to a seamstress. Well, no, you had to learn how to sew and do all that stuff. And, and that I had to buy this really cool um, ruler and it's a fabric ruler. And this is what helps me out a lot so I can measure out it. Uh, I can measure it evenly, more evenly than I would. So, it, you know what I mean? Like right there, I know exactly where to line it up because it's a perfect 90 degree angle. Oh, Karina's my, my most honest and best critic. <laughs> Cause she's my sister, she don't care. Ooh, that looks ugly. Ooh, I think it should put there, uh, Maida, I don't think so, <laughs> you know? So I really value her opinion a lot. And uh, she also was always there. Yeah, I would always draw in the room. And so she's probably been the one who's pricing me uh, from the very beginning all the way to where I am now. And she lives in Houston. So every time she sees my work, I, I can tell she's proud. But even mom and dad too, they're proud, but coming from a Latino family, they're always like, when are you gonna get that real job? <laughs> and, and it's a lot of mental battles going back and forth. Like, am I doing the right thing? Am I on the right path? Like, I feel like I'm good now in passing down the knowledge with art, but I would love to teach a class on just like Chicano art, Chicano muralist, and pass that information along to the next generation that's coming up. Because we're only gonna get older. One day, um, and I've met a lot of older uh, Chicanos who are like, finally, like they're so happy they have met me because they're like, they feel like they can rest and they have now passed the baton to somebody else. And I said, I said, I'm ready to get, I'm ready to get that baton. All the people in the past have paved a nice road for us. And now it's time for my generation to keep, to keep, um, um, como se dice, like cleaning that path for the next generation coming up. And they should do the same and they should do the same, so forth and so forth.